I'm going to be doing three different transfections today. You can do this in the hood or you can do it on your lab bench. If you keep a nice clean lab bench and use some nice sterile tubes, uh, I've had no problems doing it on the bench top. For someone beginning in cell culture, it might be best to do it in, you know, in a hooded facility. It just make sure everything is semi-sterile uh, because when you do the transfections, you don't want to have any antibiotic in your cell culture media <clears throat> at the same time that you're doing your transfections because there's a toxicity associated with that. The uh, sRNA comes dried in this tube from the company. It's, it comes as 20 nanomol, so you bring it up in a mill, it's 20 nanomoles per mill or 20 micromolar. I do my transfections so that they're done with 10 microliters of this, and it's done in a final, con or final volume in cell culture of 5 mils of cell culture media. I like to add things to the side of the tube. It just makes it easier to dispense things into tubes if I find they're added actually to the side. You get like a droplet. I use 10 microliters of lipofectamine per transfection. And that would be 50 microliters. Use 50 microliters. Lipofectamine, and when we get down to the cell culture facility, I'll add um, the two and a half mils of optimum. Notice when I insert the pipette, careful not to touch the sides or anything. The transfection medium that I use is optimum. It's from Invitrogen. So I'm gonna put a little bit of optimum inside of one of the falcon tubes. These are my siRNAs that I uh, aliquoted out upstairs and each of them gets 500 microliters of optimum. 500 microliters. Pipe it up and down a couple times uh, for good mixing. Use a new pipe head tip each time. These are also filtered tips. Now what I want to do is add two and a half mils to the lipofectamine and mix well by pipetting up and down. Try not to touch the sides. What I like to do in the meantime is first wash the cells. Um, and then add four mils of optimum to each of the 10 centimeter dishes. When I aspirate the cells, I open them up kind of like a clam shell, shape between the fingers, lean it away from me, and then just kind of touch the edge. And so the media is gone. So there's six plates. I'm going to wash them with five mils of optimum. And um, that would be 30 mils total. So I add it gently to the side. Don't add it to the center of the plate, otherwise you'll dislodge your cells and end up with a big vacant spot in the middle. Give it a little swirl around. So I do that to wash away any serum, antibiotics, floating cells, things that don't really want in my plates. It's time to add four mils to each plate. It's easiest to do this, I think, with a 10 mil pipette. Holds up to 13, these ones do. So I'm just gonna put these back in the incubator. And um, when I come back from the incubator, I'll add the lipofectamine to the siRNA. So now the pipette's at 500 microliters. And um, one at a time. Each time using a fresh pipette tip, I'll pull out 500 microliters of the lipofectamine and add it to my sRNA. 
and just pipette, you can see up and down, oh, about four or five times to mix. Now, after the lipothectamine has been added to your siRNA, you wait uh, 20 minutes or, or more if you're in a hood and it's, you know, 45 minutes instead of 20. Don't worry, you're okay. I set these up yesterday. They uh, contain a colorectal cancer cell line at about 40 to 50 percent confluence right now. Tomorrow morning, it's, it's early afternoon right now, tomorrow morning they will be approximately 90 percent confluence and that's just based on experience and the knowledge of the doubling time. So I aim for about 80 to 90 percent confluence the following morning and I will uh, split them out uh, tomorrow. So the last part of this is very easy. Uh, I have my pipette set at one mil. Leave that out. Uh, one at a time. I take my siRNA and add it uh, gently to the media, swirling every once in a while just to make sure it's well mixed. And I'll return these to the incubator. One thing that I do, which is a little bit different uh, from what other people may do, is to leave them in the optimum with the lipofectamine overnight. Um, and again, it depends on your cell line and uh, uh, basically it's an experimental thing. You'll just have to test and see how well your cells take it. Um, the other thing that I do, which is perhaps different, is I actually do two transfections. And so they'll go through two successive siRNA transfection rounds. And that just ensures that um, there's you know, maximal knockdown. Um, and it, it does seem to enhance somewhat the, the suppression of whatever you're trying to silence.